In this video, we're going to learn how to generate random numbers in R. Now we're just going to start by generating random uniform data, so numbers randomly within a given range. We're going to start by initializing the random number generator by setting the seed. This just means that if we run the same code again, we'll get the same results. And to generate the numbers, we use the runif function, which means generate random numbers from the uniform distribution. The first argument is how many numbers we're going to generate. So we're going to get 100 here. And we're just generating on the range 0 to 10. So we'll get 100 random numbers somewhere in that range. They're going to be floating point numbers, so they'll have decimals to them. And here are the results. Now, you don't have to generate numbers only from uniform distributions. So we'll just show how to generate some random numbers here from the normal distribution. So it's very similar to the above construction. You just use the different name for the distribution you want to use. So instead of R unif, we're going to use R norm. So that's random numbers from the normal distribution this time. Again, we're going to get 100 numbers. And then we just need to pass in some arguments to define the distribution we are drawing from. So here we're going to center it on 10 with a standard deviation of 1. And we're just going to generate these numbers and make a plot of the result. It's not a super nice bell curve here because this was constructed from 100 random values. So if we wanted a smoother bell curve, we would have to generate more values to approximate the normal distribution more closely. So let's say we generated 10,000 here, we're gonna probably get a much smoother distribution. And you can also generate random numbers by sampling from numbers you already have in hand, either in a vector or in a data set. So we're just going to show how to do that as well. Here we're taking a die that we've defined as a vector 1 through 6. And then we can use that to generate some random values. So we're going to sample from this die 10,000 times. And then we're also going to sample again 10,000 times and add the results. Basically what we're doing here is simulating the result of throwing two die at the same time and adding them up. And we're just going to make a table of that. So here we've simulated 10,000 die rolls with two dice. And we can see the most common value, as we'd expect, is 7. And the rare values that only happen around 1 36th of the time, as we can see, were far less common. So we only got snake eyes 271 times and 12 oh, 301 times. Now we're going to show how you could use sampling to sample random rows from a data frame. So here we're going to take the empty cars data set and then we're going to index into it using an index we're constructing using random number generation. So we're going to sample numbers between the range one and the length of the data set. We're gonna sample 10 of those. We are not going to sample with replacement, so that means we're not gonna get the same rows twice. So we're basically sampling 10 indices, and then we're going to use that sample to index into the data. So what this is basically doing is allowing us to sample 10 random rows from our data set. So just run that and confirm that we did get 10 rows here. So those are some examples of how to generate random numbers in R, as well as use some random number generation to sample rows from a data frame. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.